Some of y'all in the chat saying, uh, well, I'm tapping out uh, till you cover some real news. First, we've been covering real news. <laughs> First, we've been covering real news all day. Uh, it's the reality is it is breaking news. Uh, others are saying that, well, uh, Roland, uh, you shouldn't be covering this. Here's why y'all are wrong. The reason you're wrong is because, see, if we don't cover this, go to seven. If we don't cover this, then the voices that you are going to hear framing this largely don't look like me. And then the voices that you hear framing this and discussing this, those individuals, then they get to control what the narrative is. Now, see, I know some of y'all are sitting here uh, saying, well, um, you know, I, I hear you, I hear you. But guess what, y'all? The viewer count on our YouTube page has increased since we started this story. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I, I just want y'all to understand. Monday, we had nearly 10,000 live viewers on YouTube alone because they want to hear this story. And we discussed it in the first hour. The moment I went to a break mm -hmm. on Monday, we lost 3,000 viewers between going to break and coming back from break to begin our second hour. So one, you gotta understand that. But here's also why I need you to understand why perspectives matter. And that is the same segment that we did on Monday, breaking down what we call the deconstruction of what happened. We then posted that video uh, the next day on our YouTube channel. And I looked up the stats earlier. As a matter of fact, I'm going to see if I can pull it up right now. Here it is. I want you all to uh, look at, pull, pull, you should be able to pull this up. It says, this video is appealing to a wider audience, contributing to 73% more views than usual. That deconstruction video that we did, where we offer a sound, reasonable, thoughtful discussion on what happened, it has gotten 56,849 views since published. Now, first of all, it's actually more than that. But it says that in terms of referrals, but it says your videos typically receive 8,000 to 32,000 in this same time frame. It's gotten 38,662 recommendations. That particular video, y'all, last I checked, um, has received, uh, let's see here, 1.3 million views. 1.3 million views views. And so that's important again, because if we as black owned media, if we are not establishing the framework of the conversation, somebody else is. Right. And so I am willing, y'all can talk all you want to, but I am willing to keep talking about it as long as we are framing it properly, even the segment I did last night where I talked about don't fall for the okie doke, Team Will and Team Chris, that's already exceeded 100,000 views. And there were men, in fact, and I, I got to go ahead and do this. I, yeah, I know I, I, I did not want to, I did not want to have to, I didn't want to go this deep into this here. But you know, I, I really, it, it, it bothers me when people say dumb stuff. It, it really bothers me when they say dumb stuff. Like, it actually pisses me off when they say dumb stuff. I had a state, there's a state official in Texas. She's a state rep. She actually had some words for me on her, uh, on her Facebook page where she thought she was calling me out. Give, give me on one. She thought she was calling me out and, and she had the nerve to say on um, her Facebook page. 
And she said this here. Um, sharing my comment from another thread which said we shouldn't take sides on the issue and should be both team willing, team willing. Nope, this is not Switzerland, Roland Martin. Time to pick the side of right. We can't just say the white man or the media is the reason for this fallout. Both of these men have millions of fans of all races who care about them, but it was only Will Smith who committed the battery against another black man who was simply doing his job. Blah, 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 come back. I just want y'all to know, if you look at this here, go back, that it's Sean Theory who said that. Now, some of y'all may be looking at me saying, well, Ro, who the hell is Sean Theory? Well, this is her Twitter page. Sean Theory is a Texas state representative. She follows me on, she follows me on Twitter. So, I was sent Sean's comments, and yes, I had to respond. And this is what I said, because see, this is, this putting in perspective why y'all need to understand why black media matters, black owned media matters. I said, it's always wise for some folks to check their facts before they ever mention my name. Otherwise, I'm gonna drop some CVS long receipts on you. Today, that means you, Texas Representative Theory, she posted on her Facebook page the following comments. I said, let me handle this now. And I did. I said, first, Representative Theory, I am not Switzerland. I made my position on the Will Smith slap very clear on Monday, link attached. That video has gotten 1.3 million views on YouTube. I also warned folks not to fall for the Academy's CYA attempt, link attached. I then said to Representative Theory, second, if you actually listened to my segment last night, I warned black folks not to fall for the spin to try and blame Will Packer for asking Will Smith to stay. Now, what I warned folks about the okie doke is exactly what you are doing, Representative Theory. I am laying out the media games of shifting the narrative and trying to force us to pick sides. We should be Team Will and Team Chris. We should care about both. So actually watch and listen to what I said. And if y'all scroll down here, you'll notice um, she ain't responded. I think those CVS receipts did the trick. Folks, never ever Never ever go to, we should move on. If you don't understand how media has always controlled the conversation and control the narrative and the media's framing of a story has the ability to shift public opinion one way or the other. No. I will not be sitting this out because I'm not going to let them shift and control the narrative. And that's why we have black owned media. Black Star Network is this. Hold no punches. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. <laughs> Support this man, black media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, there's a difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?